Hello dear friends, my name is Vangelis Prokopiou and you are watching why I use Linux Debian part 2. Uh, a few days ago I created uh, this video, the one that you can see on the screen, uh, which is called why I use Linux Debian. And in this video I described some reasons for choosing Debian, for choosing Linux first of all, and uh, Debian specifically for my, as my operating system. Within that video uh, I discussed a little bit about the stability of the Debian operating system and in this video I wanted to expand a little bit on this point, on the stability of the Debian and uh, say a little bit more about this uh, factor. Uh, as for this video I will have a link in the description so that you can check it out if you haven't already. So, for this video I would like to start the video with this image. This is uh, a very nice image but you may think that it is irre irrelevant to our subject. What does this have to do with the stability of the Debian system? Well, if you want to know, this thing that we are watching here is the International Space Station. This photo comes from here, from Wikipedia, and it is, as I said, the International Space Station. Now, what is the International Space Station and how is it related to our subject, which is the stability of the Debian Linux distribution? Well, as we can see here, uh, the International Space Station is a space station or a habitable artificial satellite in low Earth orbit. The ISS program is a joint project between five participating space agencies NASA, uh, Roscosmos, IAHA, ESA and CSA. The ownership and use of the space station is established by intergovernmental treaties and agreements. As you can understand, this is quite a big project. Uh, many governments and many agencies are involved, including the top ones like NASA. So this is not something to, to be taken uh, lighthearted. But again, I'm asking, what does this have to do with the, our subject, which is the stability of the Debian system? Now, if we search this, uh, this Wikipedia uh, article, we will see here um, let me search please for Linux here. Uh, this part is what we are interested in. We can check it out and it says that uh, the ISS is equipped with about 100 uh, laptop computers. The laptops, the laptops have run Windows 95, 2000 XP, 7, Windows 10 and Linux operating systems, etc, etc, etc. And we come down to this part of the article. Let me zoom a little bit more this part of the article which says the operating system used for key station functions is the Debian Linux distribution. The migration from Microsoft Windows was made in May 2013 for reasons of reliability, stability and flexibility. And we have here this article which if we click to go there we will come here to the telegraph hosting this article and I would like to check it out with you for a few minutes because I think that uh, indeed it is important to know this information in case you don't already so let's go through the article. 
International Space Station to boldly go with Linux over Windows. Computers aboard the International Space Station are to be switched from Windows XP to the Linux operating system in an attempt to improve stability and reliability. Dozens of laptops on the ISS OPS LAN network, which provides the ship's crew with vital capabilities for day-to-day -day operations from telling the astronauts where they are to they are to interfacing with onboard cameras will be switched, removing windows entirely from the ISS. Let me zoom, zoom a little bit more. We migrated key functions from Windows to Linux because we need an operating system that was stable and reliable, one that would give us in-house control. So if we need to patch, adjust or adapt, we could," said Keith Chuvala of the United Space Alliance, which runs OPS LAN for, N for NASA. Astronauts using the system were trained on specific courses, etc., etc. Linux is already used to run various systems aboard the ISS, including the world's first Robonaut, sent to the space station in 2011. R2 can be manipulated by astronauts as well as ground controllers and is designed to carry out tasks too dangerous or mundane for astronauts in microgravity according to the Linux Foundation. Tailored versions of Li Linux are widely used in scientific projects including CERN's Large Hadron Collider. Well, this was the article. We went through the article together. Uh, we, I think, it, as I said, it is quite important as information. That's why I did that. I will have a link of the article in the description for you to go check it out. But in a nutshell, what we're reading here and what we are seeing here is that all these major agencies here as we, sh as we saw all these major agencies are telling us that Linux and Debian in particular is the operating system to choose when somebody wants to have a reliable and stable system and of course when you are in the, spa in the outer space you cannot have uh, an operating system doing it's crazy stuff like trying to update and have a blue screen of death and not being able to boot and not being able to log on when your life depends on these operations. Uh, when I found out, out about this information uh, it was a surprise, not a surprise because I know that in all major critical applications uh, Linux is preferred but uh, I thought that it, wo it was quite a useful piece of information for me to share it with you uh, because it, re it regards Linux and Debian in particular which as I said is the operating system of my choice and I know I'm praising Debian but indeed I have been using it for years and I had no problems whatsoever. This is the site of Debian for anybody that, want, that wants to download and use it. As for other uh, distributions that maybe could be um, alternatives to Debian, as I said to the previous video uh, the why I use Linux video. Uh, CentOS is um, something that I would suggest because indeed this is too a very stable uh, Linux distribution uh, backed up by the Red Hat. Uh, so if you want to try this you can try this too. This was what I wanted to share with you today. I hope you like this video. If you do like it, you can comment, like and subscribe. You can click on the penguin that you will see on the screen in order to subscribe. 
and you can ca keep coming back for more of these videos. Thank you for watching and have a great day.